Hello, uh, <laughs> welcome again to Creepy Cutie Crafty. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, so again, me and Squinks, we are a two-person crafting group, mother and daughter. I'm mm -hmm. obviously the mother. Um, and I'm the mother. <laughs> well, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> and we are again going to do a Sophie and Toffee elves box opening. It's October, which means Halloween sweets yeah. and yummy and yum 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 yum. <laughs> So yeah, we're looking forward to the Halloween and we've been hearing a lot about this craft box. Now obviously over here in England it's um, taken quite a while to get to us but still we're in plenty of time for us to do our, our Halloween Christmas crafting. Just for your information, again this is Sophie and Toffee. Um, they do an elves box which is a subscription box which is kind of like a tryout box which is what we've got in here. Uh, if you're interested in getting one yourself just go onto the Sophie and Toffee website. You can see it just there, sophieandtoffee.com. Um, and it's about uh, 28.95 in US dollars. That's 21 pound 75 in in pound sterling, and 23.98 in euros. Now we get the premium box, which always has three extra three big items in it, mm -hmm. as well as the stuff that you can get in the regular slightly cheaper box. But there's one thing that might not survive, and we both know what that is. Yeah. We now we've seen. Um, on some of the previous videos that other people who've already got their boxes um, have seen um, that there's an item in there that's that's a bit delicate and our lovely postie decided to drop the box over our side gate which is about six foot drop so we're quite keen to find out whether or not that item has survived we won't tell you what it is because we want to surprise you but we're going to be probably going to hopefully be pleasantly surprised ourselves and find an object that isn't smashed to smithereens. Yay. Should we get going then? Okay. That gives you a clue that it's glass. Yeah. Oh, um, the other thing I was going to say is um, we have had previous boxes, um, but because they've had um, epoxy resin rather than UV resin, I haven't had a chance to do any making with them because obviously with uh, Squinks here being 10 years old, it's not really made for her age group. So any Sophie and Toffee subscription boxes or um, other items you get that are UV resin or epoxy resin, you must have adult supervision. Squinks would not be getting this box all by herself mm -hmm. because she's only 10. But only if I save my money and I'm about like 15. When you're um, about 18 actually. Yeah. Because you, have, you do have to be careful because epoxy resin can be quite um, toxic. And you also need to make sure that you have a respirator for epoxy resin and you're wearing protective gloves. Well, you don't have to have, to have an respirator for this one, but for one of the past ones, yes. which is the sweetie one. Which well, had, had, it had epoxy resin in it, yeah. Yeah, and I had to wear a face mask even though I wasn't even outside being, um, you Cuffed know, on. coughed on and probably being able to catch coronavirus. Stay safe! <laughs> oh, definitely stay safe in the, uh, these uh, interesting times we're having during lockdown. Mm -hmm. The other thing I was going to say, yes, the previous box was uh, it was the dice box, which mm -hmm. I really, 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 really want to get done. But of course, because it's epoxy resin and because we have um, a lot of staying at home for small fingers over there, can't quite make it yet, but we'll, we'll do it soon. We'll do it on a video. We'll, and hopefully we, we will do it on a video. But let's move on. Let's have a look at this box now. Now this is the Halloween themed box, which is the creepy cute one, which is perfect for us, as we are creepy cutie crafty. Yeah. By and the way, my mom is allergic to cute stuff, and I'm allergic to creepy stuff. So no, you're they're not. They're complete opposites. <laughs> no, you, you <laughs> love you love the creepy. You love the creepy. Don't, okay, don't I, be lying. I admit it. I watch I watch a lot of creepy memes. You look, you make a lot of creepy memes. <laughs> Don't be daft. So I'll again, start. we've got this lovely box with the Sakura design and the lovely holographic foil on the top. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to have a look at that. If you can, can you see that that lovely shine there? I, I would love to get some foil like that to put into something crafty myself. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. So but, same but as usual. Mm -hmm. Earlier, when we were on the topic of animation, I'm going to be putting on the animation on the channel, so stay tuned for that, because it will take me hours to do it. Yes, Squinks has been uh, doing animation. her own little animations on her um, iPad and hoping to share some of those with you soon, along with the banner that's been long coming, but we'll get there eventually. 
Anyway, so we're going to do the same as we normally do, which is we're going to take turns <laughs> and bless you. <laughs> the, um, the, um, the, the, the Sophie and Toffee Elves box has been christened by Squinks' sneeze. And uh, should we get on with the opening now? Do the same as we normally do, we'll take it in turns and who's going to go first? <laughs> It, it was you first last time, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Actually, there's a good reason why I should go first. Why? Because I'm going to see if I can get the, the, the delicate item out first. Well, first of all, of course, we have the creepy cute September Elves box. And there's a big clue right there. What might what, be what might be what might absolutely be destroyed? What might be de delicate? What might be destroyed? I love the little skull patterns and the eyes and the planchettes and all these mm -hmm. bits and pieces here. Oh, no. <gasps> it's got peanuts. Peanuts. You know, peanuts. you know what I like to do when I get my peanuts. Here we go. This is the item. Doesn't sound broken, but it is wrapped in bubble wrap in there. And if you know, can see here, this is the clue to what it might possibly be. Please don't be destroyed. Hopefully we can get a replacement if it is broken. It feels... It feels like it's survived. Oh, it's purple. Ooh. And it is... A little sand timer. And it hasn't been deaded. It's it not hasn't been, been destroyed. It's not Now, dead. I'm going to be... Careful with this one, and I'm going to move this white box out of the way, but I'll put it back in the box later. I'm going to fold this as a lovely sort of cushion for it to just relax on there. Yeah, because it, it almost died. It could almost have died, but we, we, we're okay. Right, ready? Go. Oh. One item. So, yeah, and this. this... Okay, that's your one item then. No. No, okay. <gasps> just, okay, you've been feeling the biggest item, haven't you? Now, do you, like, do you want to take it out of the packet? Yeah, I will. So you can show people. That's fine. Because I'm, I'm a savage. You're savage. Wait, wait. Can, I, can I see if this is a premium? You'll find out when we get to the end. I think that's from the... Damn the plastic. So, this plastic is the loudest plastic ever. Now, that, that is the mould for that. So... Once this is in, you can put the mould of that into there, like they've got on, like they've got on the design here. This is this bit here, so you can probably see inside we've got bats and we've got skulls and we've got. You want to see? Yeah. So we've got like a little bat right there and a little skull right there, and we've got a little thick bat right there, and then we've got like a, a really skull. And I've seen some people using those as individual moulds as well. So moulding it in there and taking it out so they can make things like the little skulls in the middle there. So that'd be quite nice. Okay. No, so we'll put that over here there. with the no, with the, um, the sand thing. timer. It's not done, okay. I want to fill that timer. It's, it's time just, to... It's just wait, 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 wait. It's time to subscribe. It's time subscribe. to subscribe. <laughs> point. And like. Like, subscribe and comment. Or See what you think. Also, well, tell us if if you've had this box, did, did your uh, sand timer survive? And it is. Dun, 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 dun. It is Plastic. the most boring thing possible. This is what we call shaker uh, film. So you can cut this off and put it over items so you can have some loose bits inside and you can shake them. That's why it's called shaker stuff. I'm going to yes. put that just there. Also, there's like a, there's like a, like, I recognise something. Every time we open up something, you get the boringest thing. Yeah. I just wanted to highlight that. But I, but I, but I do turn <gasps> them into exciting things. So oh, look at that. let's have them up here, Stickers. sweetie. Go and hold them up so they can see. It's little ghosts and we've got skulls. skulls and we've got candy canes and we've got uh, planchettes, which I'm not going to explain <gasps> what those are. If you want to know what those uh, are, ask your parents. We've got candies and bows and eyeballs, eyeballs. and bats and lovely things oh. like that. I'm going to put that down there. Can we see that? Right, so now it's my turn to pick something. I'm determined not to get something boring this time. <laughs> Oh, Miss Cheering Luo 8 
Yeah. UV nail gel. Luminous. This is the luminous gel. <gasps> so it can make glow in the dark things. Yeah, we can make a glow in the dark um planchette. We can make a we can make a glow in the dark planchette. And then you have a nice game of well, no, I'm not even Okay, so now it's Squink's turn to pick one. Now I've got Ooh. Heat brains! Ooh. How many are there? These what? are Unin stars. Stars. two headbands and they are, if I'm not right, they're, they're not coated. Are they coated in fabric? Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, they're, they're coated they're in fabric so they're, nice they're going to be nice and comfortable. Yeah. And you can just add things onto them and make them stick on with the UV resin. This is cool. It is very cool. You can make cool. a cat headband. Make, it, make several, two cat headbands if you want to. Yeah, we can make it like a theme one. Like a demon one, you can have a demon headband. Or an angel one, you can use it for the Alice Angel thing that I'll never got. Okay, um, how would you have an angel one with that? Because you need a halo? Possibly. <laughs> right, so it's my turn <laughs> now. <laughs> been big. I think this is... <laughs> it's a flying peanut. <laughs> this is the epoxy resin. Again, two part resin gel. So um, I think it's uh, one to one this time. Last time it was one to two, but it's basically putting equal amounts of both of uh, both the resin and the hardener, <laughs> um, and leave it overnight to somewhere to sit. Obviously, try and put it somewhere where you aren't going to be affected by the stinkiness of it because it can get quite stinky. Uh oh, stinky! Um, please excuse the sound effects of Squinks having a drink there. Ready? Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, you got two things. <laughs> yeah. So you've got the lilac Dye. pigment dye. So that's a pigment <laughs> dye. <laughs> oh, you got something nice there. Oh, <gasps> the headbands. I'll hold it up to the camera. So we've got um the headband stuff and the ghost. So again, we're not going to take it out of the um the plastic because it's a bit crinkly and, and loud. But we've got a ghost with a wishes hat. We've got a bow. We've got two bat wings. Either devil horns or cat ears, and a little ghosty sitting on the cat ear over there, and another piece of candy here. So that looks pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. You can make quite a bit with that. Awesome. And of course, if you're a goth like me, it doesn't have to be just for Christmas, it can be all year round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. No, excuse me. <laughs> Whose turn is it? I think you'll find it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> Let's hope there's no more flying peanuts again. There probably will be, but we'll see how we go. It's a bit small there. Oh, <laughs> teeny tiny. There's another teeny tiny silicon Ooh, thing. I can see it. Can, can see I? It. You should come. Can you see that? Wee. We've got. Uh, ooh, let's see if my eyes will work. We've got a little heart with uh, wings. We've got poison apple by the look of it. A bat. Tiny little stars. A little cross, little ghosty, let's see a little cute little ghosty there. And we've got a pumpkin as well, so that's pretty awesome, isn't it? I think those are for the um, little shaker charms to go in the shaker. There's a bat. There is a bat, you're right. Yep. There's a tiny ghost in the, uh, uh, what is that? Pumpkin with wings. Do you want to do that so people can see on the camera? There's an eyeball with wings. There's an eyeball with the wings. The amazing world of gumballs coming to resin. Right. I don't get that reference, but we'll see. Yeah, but that is for making little tiny sort, uh, little tiny shaker charms to go inside your shaker. Okay, mm -hmm. so that was quite awesome. I didn't get the boring one. I think that time. Uh, ooh, hot. Ooh. I love my subscribers. <laughs> Those are <laughs> the packaging is really weird. It's it's gone iridescent. There's an iridescent hearts and. It's beautiful and I'm so really there's, there's how many in there? There's four hearts in there and it's in an iridescent package. I don't know why it's in an iridescent package. And look look, it's a ziplock one, so you can use it again. Put that there. I'm gonna run the side to in there anyway. Whose turn is it? Of course. Thank you. There's only one last side. No, there's there's two items there's two what? items in there. <gasps> I get oh, some hair, hair clips. Ah! So we can make little ears with the mould and put them on our, on our heads. Oh wait, 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 oh wait, maybe we could like make like one of those is like one of those. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's cool. Wait, 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 wait. 
How one of the ghosts is one of those, or like yep. one of the sweeties was one of those, yep. or thousands of those is one of those. Quite possibly. And then matter now. Okay. And there's only one last thing. And it's <gasps> James. Yeah, but some of them are broken. <coughs> no, <coughs> those are we've got uh, two chains, I believe, and some jump rings. So the jump rings is what you use to connect things. So you can put things together. Yeah. Okay. It's my turn for the last item in the box. Possibly. All you can feel in there is peanuts. There is one item. And that's this. A peanut. Not a peanut at all. It's, it's separated, I think. But this is the pink gel colour. This is the pink gel colour. And this is the lilac gel colour. This are used for the... Um, the resin so we can colour the resin pink and lilac if only we had some black and some reds and some purple but maybe we'll do that we'll do it we'll do a sophie and toffee investment box at some point soon because you can go to sophie, sophie and toffee website and you can um build your own box of items with, to your own particular style which that's a good thing about these because i mean yeah these um silicon molds and things are specifically for the halloween season for october but you can use them all year round if you want to get the resin yourself and things. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Subscribe, bitch. <laughs> this is when he does funny bath. Yeah. Okay, we've got, a, we've got a bathing box. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. So, hopefully, sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to do a, um, a making video. Mm -hmm. But let's see now what items were on the premium box. Looking together, there's the design on the front, which is really kind of cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But inside, we've got like the social media blog and information. We've got some previous makes from the previous um, uh, subscri subscribers. I love the little designs down the bottom, don't you? Mm -hmm. you <gasps> the... I know it's really sweet. It's like a, almost like a Polly Pocket, isn't it? It is a Polly Pocket. Sort of, yeah. Like so the regular items are also the lilac hourglass was a regular item the hourglass holder mold was a regular item the glow in the dark uv resin was um uh, a regular item but we had one of uh, eight options to pick from we got miss cheering which is basically i think it's um iridescent so it goes purple green so that's quite nice mm -hmm. But maybe we can invest in some of the other colours for future. Um, we've got the one-to-one -one resin and the opaque dye. And we've got chains and hoops, mm -hmm. which we can try out at some point soon. And now let's find about the premium. The premium was... Oh, so the, the two Halloween moulds were uh, premium, as were all the hair items and the shaker film. So the shaker film is actually a premium item, so that's quite nice. So you didn't actually find some premium ones. So I thought that this... That and that were, wait, wait. They seemed premium-y, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But they're not, they're regular items. And then these, I thought they were in the normal box because, you know, like, Comic-Con and, like, Comic-Con and stuff. Oh, of course, Comic-Con. And, um, I thought these were just normal because, like, what, cosplay. But no, these were normal and these were the, 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 yeah. the specials. But you can always, you can always use the sand timer for a regular thing, couldn't you? But, you know, it's a special one-off item, and we can use it over and over again. It's got some instructions here about how to make the um, hourglass um, uh, holder, and the how to use the glow-in-the-dark UV resin. And, hopefully, we'll be having a go at this sometime in the next couple of weeks. So, what's been your favourite item, from, apart from the peanuts? It would probably have to be the hourglass because I really like this item it's beautiful I don't want to have this in my room you want to have the item in your room so I think mm -hmm. that goes really well with the lilac color there and also the lilac of these stickers I think it's quite sweet I don't think those are stickers I think you have to like cut those out and then put them no, on the stickers it says stickers in there wait what it does oh so I think you put those on onto the shaker says, film says uh, resin film design cut okay Cut the design embed into resin. So you're right. You do actually. They're not stickers. You do um, cut the resin out and you put it into the into the resin. 
the more you know. I say the more you know, the more you'll find out. And it's quite useful to have the, the little flyer that comes in with the box that tells you how to use it. My favourite item, I do like the hourglass, but I think I, look, I quite like this. I do like the, um, uh, the luminous gel. And I want to see if I can find some more like it to try things out. And I definitely want to have a go at making this box. Maybe I can put that in my dice. Maybe I can put some of those in my dice. Mm. Halloween dice Halloween for D&D. &D. For D&D. &D. That would be very cool. See now, I really do need to get myself some more dice because the last few times I've had my D20 completely fail on me. So then I, I went to the um, uh, place where you can buy the dice and you can do um, gaming sessions. Bought a new dice and rolled a five. Yay! So it's not quite a critical fail, but enough of a fail for me to go, I want more dice. So I got to make my own pretty dice, and hopefully I'll be doing that this week too. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! Yoya. So are you pleased with all this? Yosh. Okay, so again, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and you know click for all notifications and tell us what you think of our little haul here and tell me what kind of things you would like to try out if you've got your own sophie and toffee box what kind of themes do you like what kind of things would you like us to make and do you want squinks to mold the finished items for us yes that'd be quite sweet say in the comments below do it squinks do it and here's a cracker <laughs> fair enough before squinks completely loses her marbles we're going to sign off here and we're going to go and have a chat about our design ideas and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> so let's say goodbye then. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>